Let us stand. The earth belongs to the Lord, and they that dwell therein. There's a season, a time for all things. Time to be born and a time to die. Jesus said to the disciples, Believe in me, but be also my father. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I go and I prepare a place to you. And where I am, there you may be also. These, these times will come all of our ways. We must prepare ourselves to meet our maker. God is our creator and our maker. For who he is, we learn to love him. Captain J.P. Walker was his servant, his called servant. We're here to celebrate, we're here to celebrate his home going, his labor of love, his work, his profession. We has been to Canton, the Southern Quarter, the city of Canton, Mississippi, the state, and the nation. For we all love him. David said, I will lift my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. For these times, all of us do need help. We need help that only God can give. And we'll trust in Him. He said, I'm a present help in a time of trouble. I am your friend. I am your comforter. I am your strength. I'm able to be even your joy. For God is good, church. I say the Lord is good, church. Look up. Our source of strength. He's sitting high and he is looking low. I need help. Accent. God is our friend, church. He is our friend. And because of history, we've learned to trust him. Because we all experience these days. We know he will work it out. Say he did it. Yes. 
Yes. Somebody should be able to tell that story. He's been good to somebody even this morning. Can somebody tell that story? Do you know how you made it over? We got a savior on our side. When the hills get high and the valleys get low, God is our bridge. He is our bridge, church. Here's our way out. Is our everything. He promised to wipe tears from my eyes. Yes. So much to be thankful for. It's time like these. We recognize that He is God. We know He's a powerful God. said, I fought a good fight. Welcome finish his course. Uh, 
He fought a good fight. The good fight. Yes, it's time to celebrate even now. It's all right. It's all right. The Lord is good, church. Jesus, there's power. Just call his name. Help is on the way. never to leave us. 
you promise to be our strength, to be present with us through all things. And I've come to know him as a promise keeping God. Whatever promise that's written in his word, he's kept it. So family, you can rest assured God is faithful to every written word that he's promised you. Mr. So Walker Fred, God is present. He's going to keep you, hold you, strengthen you. Day by day, he will give strength. I said day by day, he will give strength. What we're doing now, we're trying to make some arrangements for seating for our pastors. We have to bring some more chairs for our pastors. Well, good morning. good morning. I'll try one more again. The mic is not working just quite right. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah, that sounds a little better. Can you... Uh... Amen. Thank you. They're going to be bringing some chairs out. But we want to get all of our moving out of the way here. Someone is doing that uh, now. Yeah, here, here we come. Okay, here we go. Now, some of you may not remember these days where you had to sit out chairs and heist the window. I mean, you, you don't remember. I know you, you don't remember those days. Uh, remember those days where you had hand fans and where you had benches no pews. I'm going to keep talking until I get an amen. Well, if somebody asked you to slide down, you had to get up because you couldn't do no sliding. You, I know you don't remember none of that kind of stuff. You don't remember those chairs that had the straw in it. And depending on how long they've had it, it would determine how long you could stay in it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We're in a new day now, and uh, everything is push button and luxury. But we are all here, and we are here for a purpose, and that's to celebrate the life, the living, the legacy. Amen. Of the Reverend J.P. Walker, sunrise July 13, 1948, and sunset December 31st, 
2022. A loving husband, father, son, brother, servant, and just a friend to anybody will let him be one. Amen. Amen. I, I must go ahead and, and, and tell you that um, I think the family, Brother Fred, and Sister, Sister Honey, for, for giving me this privilege to preside. And uh, I'm going to give my one little joke and then I'll be out of the way. But I shared with the family on yesterday. Ever since I've known Dr. Walker, uh, Dr. Johnson, I've always asked him, what does JP stand for? I've, I've been asking, Dr. Lewis, I've been asking, what does JP stand for? And uh, he preached for me in November, church anniversary, and uh, I asked him publicly, because I know preachers does not lie in public. And, and so, and so I, yeah, in public. Yeah. Thank you, President Buckley. In public. And so I asked him in front of our congregation. And, and uh, so yesterday, I asked the family. I'm, I'm sure he doesn't mind, because he's in home now with the Lord rejoicing so he doesn't mind you telling me the truth. I said, what does JP stand for? And they said, uh, what y'all tell me? Just plain. <laughs> Just plain. Yeah, what he said? Just plain. But I, I, I got some good news. I've really got the truth out of it. Danny, I know now what JP stands for. Jesus preacher. I, I got that from him now. That's what he told us. He said he said his first name is J, the JP stands for Jesus preacher, and and I promise you that's the right name for JP Walker. Uh, we, we, we used to talk about Dr. Walker all the time. Man. We said, Walker preaches breakfast. Honey, bring me some biscuits and some, you know, just would preach, preach, preach. And we thank God for him. The family has prepared an order of service. And we can best show our respects by honoring their wishes. Uh, there, is, there, there will be some alteration of the program, but one addition. Um, the procession has already taken place. The scripture reading will be done by the Reverend Pastor Jimmy Garner, and the pastor of the St. Matthew M.B. Church in Canton. New Testament scripture, the Reverend Dr. Isaac Jackson, Jr., pastor of the Liberty M.B. Church in Canton. The prayer will be done by the Reverend Dr. Floyd Chambers, Zion Chapel AME Church, presiding elder of the Canton District of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, and administrative assistant to the bishop. Then we'd have a musical lection by the New Bethel Mass Choir. Tributes will be done in this order. The Reverend uh, Pastor Otis Davis will come, moderator of the Madison County Baptist Association, uh, President Green, MB Church, then following him will be the president of the National Hardware C. Uh, then following him will be Deacon Percy Bennett, uh, uh, officer here at New Bethel MB Church, Canton. The announcements uh, will be done by Dr. Paula Faye Griffin, Old True Light MB Church. And following uh, Dr. Griffin, uh, Rev. Milton will come back with a special presentation. Then following that presentation, there'll be a solo, the Reverend Clyde Tate of St. James MB Church and Antioch MB Church in Canton and Jackson. The eulogy will be done by Pastor Frederick B. Walker. And then the funeral home uh, family memorial funeral directors will be in charge. 
Uh, I shall return probably after the musical selection, but let us govern ourselves. And um, brother, brother Fred said to me that he was help coming from the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not stumble. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve, preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. God bless you. Our New Testament reading from the second Timothy chapter 4 beginning at verse 1 through verses 8 reads as following I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearance in his kingdom. Preach the word, be an evangelist, make full proof of their ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all of them also that love his appearance. Let us pray. Eternal God, you said in your word that you would be our refuge and our strength. Now, dear Lord, it is time that we ask that you would strengthen us. Heavenly Father, we realize that you said in your word that you was going away and prepare a place for us. And wherever I am, there ye may be also. And, oh, Lord God, you kept your promise. Whom, him whom thy loved is dead. And now we come asking for strength, dear God. We pray for asking that you would give strength to this family, to this wife, these children, grandchildren, all of these ministers, family and friends, and to this Canton community. Oh God, we need you now. We need you like never before. And, oh, Heavenly Father, we realize that we sit here now. Many hearts are broken. Minds are disturbed. And we read in your word that you're a heart fixer. You're a mind regulator. Now we come asking that you would fix the broken hearts. Mend them where they have been broken, dear God. Regulate the disturbed mind. Strengthen them. Strengthen this family, oh, Lord. We realize that many phone calls are coming now but there will come a time when the phone calls will stop and we pray dear God that you would throw your arms around this family keep them and preserve them and strengthen them along the way we are praying this morning realizing that Reverend Walker was a man who believed your promise and he accepted your promise oh God that when the time come when his time should end that you would come and take him home to be with you. And oh Lord, you kept the promise. He answered the call. And now that he has answered the call, we pray that you would mend the hearts that has been broken from the call. These blessings we ask in thy darling son Jesus' name. And for his sakes we pray. Amen. Thank 
I said once I oh, yes. was satisfied oh, yes. in life's basement, oh, yes. Lord to dwell, oh, yes. I didn't know I oh, yes. was a prisoner oh, yes. in a cell, oh yeah, oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh but now I, oh, yes. now I'm dwelling oh, yes. on the first floor, oh, yes. Of God's love, oh, yes. and I'm just here oh, yes. temporarily, oh, yes. and I soon shall move above oh, yes. in my Father's oh, yes. house and glory. Oh, yes. Lots of mansions oh, yes. are prepared, oh, yes. built by Jesus, oh, yes. a lonely carpenter. Oh, yes. From Galilee, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, but someday oh, yeah. this life is over. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna join oh, yeah. the heavenly choir oh, yeah. and the golden oh, yeah. shouting angel. Oh, yeah. So we're gathering the golden stand. I'm going to. Yes, I am. I'm gonna move in my room. I'm going to one day I'm upstairs. Oh, that is why I'm so happy. In spite of all my trials and cares. I'm getting ready, get ready, Lord, to move, to move upstairs. Oh, I'm going to move upstairs. Yes, I am. Upstairs. I'm going to move upstairs. in my room. Move I'm going to move upstairs. One day I'm upstairs. upstairs. Why? Why? I'm so happy I'm so in spite of all, spite of all my tries and cares. I'm getting ready. Get ready. I'm getting ready. Get ready. Oh, get ready. Get ready. I'm getting 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 ready. Get ready. One of these mornings. Get it won't be long. You'll look for me, and I'll be gone. I'm going to heaven to sing and shout. Nobody there to turn me out. I know my rope. I know my role. I know my rope. I know my role. I know my road, I know my road, it's gonna fit me well, I tried it on, 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 you don't believe, I did redeem Follow me down to the Jordan stream. Jordan River, it's chilly and cold. Cheer my body and not my soul. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Oh, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Oh, I'm getting ready. 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 
how to move or so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved with protocol not being established I will establish protocol to our presiding preacher Dr. Matthew Canada and to the General Missionary Baptist State Convention President, Dr. Reginald Buckley, to our National Baptist President, Dr. Jerry Young, who is President of National Baptist Convention USA, past President of the General Missionary Baptist Convention Incorporation, Dr. Isaac Jackson, Jr., to our President of the Ken Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, Dr. Robert Kelly and to the, the very fine and elite pastor of the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church, Frederick B. Walker. And to all the preachers, to all the pastors, and to all of you who are here this morning in this celebration of life, Richard Milhouse Nixon, who is the 37th president of the United States of America, made a famous quote one time, said that a tree is not measured until it's laid down. Last Saturday, a giant of a tree was laid down. We gather here this morning at the New Bethel Missionary Baptist Church to measure this tree, this giant of a tree, by the name of Pastor J.P. Walker. The psalmist said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Listen what the psalm is saying. He shall be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of waters. J.P. Walker was that tree. He wasn't a wild tree, but he was a tree that God planted by the rivers of waters. The water there is a metaphor for the word of God. Amen. Walker was planted by the rivers of water. Amen. Say his leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. We are here this morning to celebrate life. We're not here this morning to celebrate because Pastor Walker is dead. But we are here to celebrate because Pastor Walker is alive. Amen. For we are convinced by what the Apostle Paul says in Corinthians to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We also hear Jesus talking to Martha when he says that I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I'm here this morning as about a family to represent the Madison County Baptist Association of Churches. Amen. All of my time that I've been in Madison County, Walker was a member of the Madison County Baptist Association. The first meeting that I attended, Pastor Walker at Old True Light Missionary Baptist Church was Pastor Walker hosting 
the Madison County Baptist Association of Churches. I want all the pastors of the Madison County, all preachers of the Madison County Baptist Association just to stand right now. Amen. Y'all stand. Amen. These are certainly, we are here to say we'll see you later, Walker. We're not here to say goodbye, but we're here to say that we'll see you, you later. The other day, Walker received his report card. Amen. And the report card didn't have an A on it. It didn't have a B on it. But it had well done. Thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on up. I'm excited this morning because Walker was a member of our association and he was one who loved God. He was one who listened to God. He was one who leaned on God. He was one who learned of God. And the other day, the other day when Walker was on his bed of affliction, the Monday, the Monday before he died, we prayed for him. But, but, but not only was Walker loving God, but Walker was looking to God. He remembered what the psalmist said, look to the hill. For what's coming his help. All of his help. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior. And to Sister Walker and the Walker family, to the officers and the members of the New Bethel Church, to our presiding officer, to President Young, President Jackson. Moderator Davis, and to all who offer leadership to our denomination's work. All right. I concur with you, Pastor Davis, for a giant oak has gone from among us. But unlike the trees of the timber industry. This mighty oak was not cut down by the jagged teeth of time and chance. Nor was this tree blown down by the fierce and ferocious winds of adversity. Neither was this tree pushed down by the bulldozers of changing time and swift transition. No, this tree, this tree which stood tall for generations, spreading forth its massive branches, which has provided cooling shade for the weary and protective shadow for his family. This tree has come down from among us by the providence of the almighty God. And although mighty indeed was this tree, when the almighty moves, when the almighty speaks, when the almighty makes his determination, even the strongest among us must answer to his call. Pastor J.P. Walker was a strong preacher a giant of a preacher. He was a giant of a pastor, a giant of a friend to those who knew him and had the pleasure of working with him. Pastor Walker's commitment to this church, his commitment to this community and this convention was surpassed only by his commitments to his family and to his savior. My interactions with Pastor Walker were always very encouraging. 
through the years of my involvement with the state convention, he encouraged me to grow into leadership. He encouraged me to serve faithfully. He encouraged me to give myself to this calling of pastoring, preaching, ministering, and leading God's people. It was not long after my return home and the ministry at Cade Chapel that I had the pleasure of meeting Pastor Walker's son, Frederick Walker. Frederick and I walk a similar path having answered the call to come to our home church and minister alongside our fathers, serving at some point in their shadows. We share that story of pastoral transition from father to son and serving a congregation that knew you when. So I'm privileged I'm privileged for that fellowship and for the friendship that we share. And so Pastor Walker, Frederick Walker, I've stopped by as, yes, a pastor and, yes, as a president. But more importantly, I've stopped by as your friend, a fellow preacher's brother and friend to say to you and to this family, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid, for you believe God. Now, I like that verse as much for what the Lord said. But I also like it for what he did not say. For he did not say that they should not be sad. He said, don't be troubled. He didn't say you should not cry. He said, don't be troubled. He, he didn't say that we should not grieve, but in grieving, we are not to be overcome with trouble. Because being troubled suggests that there is the absence of faith and a deficit of hope. And while we who believe in and accept Christ do grieve, we grieve differently. Yes, we cry, but we cry differently. Yes, we sorrow, but we sorrow differently. We cry with confidence. We grieve with gratefulness. We sorrow with certainty. We mourn fully assured that a better place has been prepared for those who leave us and those whom we love. And so with this faith, we can face tomorrow and forge ahead, remembering the massive life, the pastoral love, and the preaching legacy of Pastor J.P. Walker. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, but believe believe in God. Amen. On behalf of the officers and the members of the General Missionary Baptist State Convention of Mississippi, of which I am privileged to serve as president, these are our words of comfort. Amen. I am thankful And I am delighted and privileged. I certainly give deference to Dr. Matthew Canada. I am pleased and privileged to be in the pulpit here with many of the leaders who are part of our national work. I certainly extend deference to uh, young Mr. Buckley who gives leadership to our convention and Dr. Jackson who is immediate past president of our convention and um, of course uh, the moderator of the association who is candidating for presidency <laughs> all of these preachers and pastors who are here and and certainly to Sister Walker and and the pastor here and all of the members of, of his church here I I, um, I thought that I would simply say that Walker was without question a very good friend of mine Walker was 
different from a lot of preachers. There are a lot of preachers who preach good. But they are not good preachers. Walker had the distinction, and he had, in my humble opinion, he had that which I call capacity, because he not only preached good, but he was a good preacher. We thank God for our leadership, our local, state, and national leadership. Brother Davis, Brother Buckley, and Brother Young for coming and sharing tributes with this family. As we prepare our hearts for uh, Sister Ellen to come with solo, uh, Brother Preacher Pastors, um, if there are those of you who have not yet seen Brother Milton, um, but Milton, where you where you you want them to see you? Where? Right after. Uh, 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 after, okay. But Milton wants you to see him afterwards. Those of you preacher pastors, y'all you all know what this is all about. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So we thank God for you. At this time, we're going to ask um, Sister Cynthia Allen. Is, is Brother Tate made it yet? Is he here, Brother Clyde? He's in on route, in route. Okay, all right, Brother Tate uh, is in route. If, if not, then uh, I, I guess I have to do the solo. <laughs> yeah. I, I do sing in the key of Q. Don't do not do so let's pray for the cloud, make it. Amen, amen, amen. As we come after this solo, Dr. W. L. Johnson Sr. will come, followed by Dr. Albert Hardwell, a pastor of Melrose Baptist Church in Memphis, Tennessee, a very dear friend of Pastor Walker, J.P., and then following him will be Deacon Percy Bitty. Amen. Falling in love 
when Jesus oh, oh, oh falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I've ever ever done in his arms I feel protected hallelujah in his arms never disconnected oh, oh in his arms I feel protected there is no place I'd rather rather be falling in love with Jesus falling in love with Jesus falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I've ever ever done it was the best thing I've ever ever done was the best thing I've ever, ever done, ever done. Oh, was the best thing I've ever, ever a day of celebration. I hold that whenever there's a victory, it's necessary to celebrate. A few days ago, Reverend Walker had his victory, and we are here to celebrate. To our national president, Dr. Young, state president, Dr. Reginald Buckler, Past President, Dr. Isaac Jackson, moderator, Reverend Otis Davis, President of our Alliance, Reverend Robert Kelly, Pastor Frederick Walker, who is pastor of this church, and my pastor, Dr. Jonathan Phillip. I got two pastors, and Reverend Reginald uh, Finch. To all pastors, ministers, evangelists, my sisters and brothers into this family. Reverend Walker was my friend. We both was in the hospital at the same time, but I was discharged and I came home on the 30th of December. And on the 31st of December, he went to his heavenly home. We were good friends. We traveled uh, all over this country to conventions. And I usually, uh, Reverend Walker, his wife, and my wife, we would go places and we had a good time. Uh, Reverend Walker, he liked to do three things basically. He liked to drive, he liked to eat, and he liked to talk. And I don't like to drive, so I just sit there and let him drive. We had a great time. And uh, he called his wife, Honey, and I called my wife, Honey, and we were somewhere eating, and I, I said, Honey, and he was saying, Honey, and uh, Reverend said, We got to get these honey straight here. <laughs> But I've known Reverend Walker since back in the early days when he first started preaching. Uh, we had the seminary here, uh, Baptist Seminary here in Canton, and he was one of our students. And I, I'm not sure, but I think I helped ordain him. But Reverend Walker 
after the death of Dr. R. B. Harris, who former pastor of this church, Reverend Walker came to me one day and he said, Reverend said, uh, I want to ask you something. I said, okay, what is it? He said, would you be my pastor? I said, you pastor? He said, yes. He said, I need a pastor. He said, you know, my pastor has passed away and I, I, I want a pastor. I, I need somebody over me. And how glad I was to be the pastor of Reverend Walker. And let me tell you, we developed a beautiful friendship. Uh, we had something in common. I was dealing with health issues. He was dealing with health issues. And we would keep in touch with each other. We would call each other every day or two. And we discuss our problems and our joys and all these kind of things. He'd call me when he had a question about something, even about this church. He'd call me and, what you think about it? What you what you think about this and that? But we had a good relationship, and I want to tell you that Reverend Walker was my friend. I'm gonna say it again: Reverend Walker was my friend, and I even refer to him as well. My wife and I we adopted him and his wife as our children, and. And uh, even now, you may hear his wife call me daddy, so uh, don't get upset. Uh, <laughs> but I got a lot of children around here. <laughs> lots of them, lots of them. So I want to say this, and, I, and, I, and I'm through. I could, I could go on and on, but I'm going to say this. Reverend Walker, I, knew you can, I don't know whether you can hear me or not. Some say you can and some say you can't. But I want to say this. The other day, you beat me to the finish line. But I'm on my way. In the morning, when the master of the universe shall wrap the gospel in eternity, and declare the time you have been. Won't be no more. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stick my soul in the sand of time. And I'm going to be marching off this old smoky battlefield. And when I get to the throne, the master going to ask me, what did you do? I'm going to say, I thank you for what you gave me. I did the best I could with you. I fought good fight. Yeah. And now I'm ready. Yeah. I thought Reverend Johnson was my friend. <laughs> These other preachers didn't talk so much about the tree. I'm just scared to say anything about a tree. <laughs> All the preacher told me, he said, boy, when I first started preaching it, you go down to Mississippi, you better preach. Yes, we give thanks to God, to this pastor, Pastor Fred Walker, to Miss Walker, and to our presider, and to all of these preachers that's up here in the pulpit. We give thanks for our national president, amen. Dr. Jerry Young, give him a hand, amen. He came, I'm going to go on, I'm going to sit down, I got two minutes, right? I done talked one of them, so I'm, I got to go on. He came to be with us, Dr. Ray, and uh, he's one of our national leading members, and our president, Reverend Doug, R Ricky Duggar, of the Memphis Baptist Ministerial Association. He put on a program in October called Legacy of Preachers. And this president, of the National Baptist come down there in dishes. It was a banquet. Forks, knives, cups, it dropped everywhere, just shouting, amen. Come down there and just wreck things, amen. I told him this morning he's doing a great job. I wish his tenure would be a little longer, amen. He's doing a great job. And 1977, uh, he said, uh, 
185 miles from Memphis. I said, man, I'd be glad to come. So I came. I told my wife that this preacher I met, Brother Walker, I met him in the Congress, and he wanted me to come down and preach his anniversary at Old True Light Baptist Church. And we got down here. At this time, Jackson State was playing somebody, and he didn't get the hotel for me in advance. I'm young, wanting to go. Amen. Young then. Amen. Ran to go. Hey, just got from a church. I've been there 42 years now. He just got there. And we got around here. We rode and rode. He fed me. I believe like Dr. Johnson said, he loved to eat. He fed us and then he rode us round. Amen. We was trying to find a hotel. Him and honey. Amen. We looked all night. Couldn't find a room. Nowhere. Bill Wheel, a hotel here. Couldn't find nothing. Amen. <laughs> We needed, we needed somewhere to stay. So Ron Walker say, Pastor, I'll tell you what. Say, come on to my house. Now I'm finna go somewhere now. And we went to his house. Now I just met him. He's a good man. I just met him just a few weeks. Ago. And I'm down in Mississippi and he gonna tell me, say, come on, stay all night here. He didn't know I was a good preacher. Amen. He didn't know what I was. Amen. And we stayed in the house. And I told him, I said, man, I appreciate it. We've been friends ever since. And I was sad when I heard the news because this time of year, Mr. President, we be getting ready to try to come to the board meeting. We've traveled together. We would meet one another. I don't care what city we was in. Somewhere we were going to meet Reverend Walker and Miss Walker. And I would call him. He was just like a brother to me. I hadn't got no brother. My brother drowned some years ago. And I told my son, by the way, my wife sent her condolences. My daughter's sick and they got a function with the uh, preacher's wives today. And she sent her condolences to the family. Amen. And you couldn't be around no better person. Friendly fella, amen, lovable guy, good guy. And I liked about him, he's a family man. He was a family man, amen. And I'm not going to talk about that tree, but I think I'm going to just talk about the fountain. There was a family that went to the mall every Saturday, Fred, and they would ask him, say, at 12 o'clock, we need to find us somewhere to meet up at. And in this mall, in the middle of the mall, it was a crystal fountain there. And they said, meet us back here at the fountain. Brother Walker, I want to meet you at that fountain. And I, the song said, there is a fountain filled with blood. Flows from Emmanuel's name. Sinner's blood beneath thy foot. Lose all thy guilt and stain. I meet you at the fountain. First, I'd like to say hello to everybody and uh, give an honor to God and all the distinguished guests that we have on behalf of our pastor. And I've heard a lot of good stuff about our pastor, but as a tribute from the church, I can say that I've been knowing Reverend Walker, Pastor Walker, before that was a friend, before that was a wife. Where we found honey, we used to go to eat a bean. Yes, he found honey and I found salt. <laughs> but <laughs> I never did find nothing in ate a bean. <laughs>
But I, I, I'd just like to say this. Uh, I, I'm sure that every member of New Bethel, now these preachers saw him sometime, and they saw him at the convention, but we saw him all the time. And we, we saw him when he didn't feel like preaching. We saw him when he felt like preaching. I can never remember a time that he did not preach what the word said when he entered the pulpit. And I used to see him by, he and I were being so close because the first group he used to sing with me was quartet. And I said, boy, that's the worst singer I ever heard. <laughs> but you never know. And I just like, you know, it's hard to give tribute about without first giving thanks. I just like to thank the, lo uh, the Lord for giving us that pastor of his own heart. First, he lived what he preached. Secondly, he preached what he lived. And one thing I liked about Reverend Walker, he was not ashamed. He was not afraid to tell you if he knew you were doing something wrong. He would always. I don't want no, per no preacher, no pastor to slap me on the back and say I'm doing good when I'm doing bad. He's only aiding you downwards. So I like to give my tribute by saying, I told Warren Walk, I said, every time I see you, I'm looking at a miracle. I said, God, have worked a miracle for you just to see you standing because I knew the hurt sometimes because it would hurt me and I, I, I just, I just love Robin Walker, and I'm sure everybody, I'm sure every member here would love him, do you? He never would complain, even though sometimes I could listen to his voice and tell aches and pain that he was enduring. But I want to tell you what he did. He was one that did not drop out. He served faithful until the end. And I know, and no doubt in my mind, that he do have a crown of life. And I believe on the other day they said that good and faithful servant, come on home. You've been faithful over many things. I'm going to make you rule over many. Faithful over many, I'm going to make you rule over many. So he was faithful over many things. I know the word said faithful over few things, but he was faithful over many things. And I, I just want to, he told my wife one time, said he wanted me to say, I'm just going to say this. He pressed his way through. He pressed his way through. God has something waiting. He pressed his way through. Giving honor to God, to Pastor Frederick Walker, to the Walker and New Bethel MB Church family, 
To the protocol that Reverend Davis has already given, I cannot name, but I want you to know that I do acknowledge you. I am here to do the acknowledgments, and I want you to know that there are many uh, resolutions, and I will not read them all. I will read a portion of a couple of them, but I will acknowledge the senders of all of them. We have a resolution from the city of Canton, and it reads in portion on behalf of the city of Canton, Mayor William Truly Jr. MD and the Board of Aldermen want the Walker family to know that our hearts are with you as we gather to bid a Christian goodbye to a great man and a man of faith, Pastor J.P. Walker. Be it resolved that we embrace the Walker family because all of us have a common bond that will connect us for the rest of our lives. We cannot replace Pastor J.P. Walker, but will attempt to demonstrate his love for you. Be it further re resolved that I, Mayor William Truly Jr., M.D., and the entire city of Canton within the, Canton, within the county of Madison stand with this resolution in salute, honor, and memory of Pastor J.P. Walker. Resolution of respect for Reverend J.P. Walker. We, the members of the Canton Interdenominational Ministry Alliance, do bow our heads in humble submission to the will of God who makes no mistakes. Whereas we accept what God has done, knowing that all things work together for good of them that love the Lord, remember earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Be it further resolved that we acknowledge the passing of Reverend J.P. Walker and a copy of this resolution will be given to the family and a copy to be kept in the Canton Interdenomination Ministerial Alliance archives. Reverend Robert D. Kelly, President, Reverend Robert, M. Mc Robert E. McCallum, Secretary, Reverend Frederick Walker, Vice President. And this one I do not dare leave without reading a portion of it. The old True Light Missionary Baptist Church wishes to express our genuine love and respect for Reverend J.P. Walker. Whereas Reverend Walker served as pastor of Old True Light MB Church for 20 years and was greatly studied in the word, a passionate advocate for family worship and a reverent spiritual leader. Whereas Reverend Walker left an indelible mark at Old True Light, he not only shared the word of God, but he also shared his life. His family was our family. They were not only our spiritual leaders, but also our friends, our confidants, and great examples to us. Sharing our trials and tribulations, our joys and pleasures. Whereas on January 8, 1995, following a message entitled, Do What the Lord Say Do, our beloved pastor completed the work the Lord had, to, had for him to do at Old True Light. But Old True Light never left his heart, and he remained forever in the hearts of Old True Light. Be it resolved that Old True Light MB Church will continue to strive to build family and to do the will of the Lord, for it is part of the legacy of a mighty warrior that the Lord sent our way. 
respectfully submitted on this seventh day of January, 2023, Old True Light Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend Floyd Blackman, Pastor. I will acknowledge other uh, resolutions that I did not read. The Madison County Baptist Association of Churches, Reverend Otis Davis, moderator, Reverend Cleothus William, executive secretary. We also have a resolution from Smith Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Randy D. Spencer is the pastor. The General Missionary Baptist State Convention of Mississippi, Dennis M. Grant, General Secretary, Reverend Dr. Reginald M. Buckley, President. I did not receive the cards, but I'm sure they are here. But I do want to acknowledge the one that I uh, did receive. So Selena M. Strange and family, and the family of the Farm Haven Church of Christ in Farm Haven. To my pastor, Emeritus, I want to say that I hope to see you on the other side. And to the Walker family, I say, may God bless you and keep you, and we will continue to pray for you. Amen. God bless. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. Also, thank you, Dr. Johnson, uh, Dr. Harwell, and Brother Percy for your tributes. Thank you, Sister Allen, for that solo. Uh, we're now entering the last phase of our celebration. Um, we're going to ask that uh, all the pastors remember and patron ministers remember to see Brother Milton uh, before you leave here. But at this moment, I'm going to ask that if all clergy would stand, uh, pastors, ministers, uh, if you would stand, uh, let this family see who are here, worshiping and praying with them. Amen. Thank you. As a Canada. Uh, the clergy passes to this Walker family. I met Pastor Walker over 25 years ago. We had a mutual friend named Reverend Joe Blackman. Pastors, preachers, they may not personally say thank you, but I want to thank you for the love shown to this family. I want to thank you you don't never have to hear, but when your hearts are open for true love, they say thank you. Pastor Walker and Pastor Sister Walker, I will have cards and gifts for you once we leave the ceremony. Celebrate, celebrate Pastor, the life of Pastor J.P. Walker. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, uh, Brother Fred. Sister Florida for allowing me to serve as the presiding uh, minister this morning uh, for this service. We do want to be reminded that the interment will be at the Pleasant Gift Missionary Baptist Church Cemetery here in Canton. The repast will be back here at the Church Education Center. Uh, certainly we are praying for the family um, because when we leave here, they're yet going to be having to deal with the transition. And it is a process. But I know a man. I, I know a man. And I know you know the man. So just call on the man. So at this time, we're going to ask Brother, Brother Clyde Tate to come with solo following that. The eulogy will be done by the pastor uh, and son of the Reverend J.P. Walker, Pastor Frederick B. Walker will come. Amen and God bless. Bless the Lord to our <coughs> national president, 
Dr. Young, to our state president, Dr. Buckley, to my fellow brethren of the gospel, New Bethel family, certainly to this family, Reverend Dr. Frederick Walker. Through the years, I keep on toiling. Lord, I'm toiling. Yes, I am. Through the storm and rain. Waiting and wanting for my Savior, Lord, to come again. Oh, I I'm coming home, Lord. Every day I'm trusting. In your words, Lord, in the gates, swing open. I will, yes, I will. I'm going to walk in. Lord, I'm so tired. Your soul needs resting. I'm tired, Lord. God knows I have been deep in scorn. Friends, talk about me. Any men misuse me. I'll keep my eyes alone. Lord, you come carry me on. Oh, 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 I will, I will, I will I'm going to him Lord, teach me How to treat my neighbor Yeah, they teach me Lord I love my friends. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm waiting on him to come again. Hey, hey, I'm, 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 Trusting in your Lord, we in the gates. Slow and JP Walker don't have a walker no more. He's coming on in.
people of God said amen. amen. Indeed, we are grateful to God to be in the midst of a celebration. Amen. 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 We thank and we bless God for all of your faces here on today. That's in here, that's in the education center is evidence of the lives that my father touched. And I want you all to know that we are appreciative that you all would come and share in this celebration with us. Amen. Amen. We bless God for this opportunity to stand before you just to say a few words about my, my father. Amen. Amen. We, we thank God for Pastor Canada, Amen. our presiding uh, preacher for today. Thank God for our national president, Dr. Jerry Young. Amen. 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 To our state president, uh, Dr. Buckley. Amen. To our uh, presiding elder, uh, Dr. Flora Chambers. Amen. Uh, Dr. Jackson, our former president. Amen. To moderator Davis. Amen. To Reverend Kelly, our uh, interdenominational ministerial alliance president. Amen to uh, my dad's pastor. Amen. Dr. W.L. Johnson Sr. Amen. And we just bless God for uh, Dr. and uh, Mrs. W.L. Johnson Sr. For they have truly, uh, their family as well has truly been a blessing to our family. Amen. Amen. We're just intertwine all there together their children and us and we're, we're we just have a special relationship and we thank God for for them amen, amen. I want to thank God for all other preachers amen, amen. Uh, Pastor Canada has already had them to stand and we just thank God for all of the preachers from near and far uh, to all of the uh, I know my mom would want me to say this to all of the minister wives amen, amen. Amen. They, they brought food over on uh, Thursday. Amen. And I ate Thursday night. I got chicken for Friday morning and I had chicken. Amen. We just, we, we thank God for, for the minister wives. They, 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 they truly blessed us. Uh, we, we thank God for, uh, as I, I forestated all of the preachers, I thank God for you. Uh, but uh, two of my mentors, uh, uh, well, let me say three of my mentors, I just want to highlight, uh, amen, uh, Reverend Ronald Middleton, amen. Uh, he, he's been there with me uh, from day one, uh, encouraging me, and uh, uh, when he was at St. John, he would allow me to come and practice on his people. And then he sold me, and he said, well, uh, I get you the first time because of your daddy. He said, and if you do well, I'll get you the second time because of you. And around the third time, he told me, he says, it's easy for me to get you because my people, they even like you. <laughs> so we thank God for uh, Pastor Middleton. And I thank God for uh, Pastor Canada and uh, Reverend McCallum. Amen. Amen. Uh, I know all of you guys are my dad's uh, friend. Amen. But these guys... Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, sudden, but uh, uh, I got the call that uh, things were going the other way with my dad. And my wife and I, we were in Vegas, and uh, we, got, we called us a red eye that Friday night. And uh, we got here uh, that Saturday morning, and I, I left the airport, and I went straight to the hospital. When I got there, they, they told me... Uh, well, they already have some people up there, and only so many can go, so uh, uh, you may have to come back tomorrow. I said, oh, no. I said, uh, I I'm going to see them today. And I said, I don't know who, who you're going to get and bring them back down, but I'm going today. And uh, when we got there and we got up, and I went in, and I was standing over my dad, and I called uh, Pastor McCallum, and he said, well, I'll be there. I said, well, Reverend, I don't think they're letting too many people in. He said, well, I'll be there. I said, well, okay. I went in the room with Dad. I was, had my head bowed. I was praying. And uh, when I looked up, 
uh, Jackson State, uh, that was the day that they were playing in the bowl game. And when I looked up, I saw Pastor McCallum come with JSU from head to toe. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, how did you get in? He said, Mama Walker told me, just keep walking. <laughs> I, I said, well, and, and, and Canada was the same way. I, I, I don't know. It must be a JSU thing. I, I don't know. Yeah, it must be a JSU uh, thing. We just, we, we thank God for, for them. Uh, uh, I, I thank God for uh, um, Reverend Ernest King. Amen. Uh, he's in uh, Detroit, Michigan. He was a special friend of my father that uh, called him on a daily basis and they just would talk with each other. I, th I thank God for him. He's not able to be here on today. I, uh, uh, I think we're streaming the services. So, uh, Dr. King, we bless God for you. Uh, we thank God for all of the uh, uh, health care workers that saw, uh, uh, that saw after my father. Uh, we just thank God for you. Amen. I, I see Dr. Hicks. Uh, I, I bless God for Dr. Hicks because he was the one uh, 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 from the Methodist denomination that adopted my daddy because Dr. Hicks gave him a name. He told him he's no longer just Baptist. He said he's Bapto Methodist. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, uh, yeah, he adopted daddy into the Methodist denomination. And I think daddy was one of the first Baptist preachers to preach in the Methodist convocation. Uh, and, and we thank God for, for you. Amen. To all of my, my mom and dad and neighbors, I want to go ahead and get my thank yous out the way. Uh, to all of my uh, mom and dad neighbors in the neighborhood that they live in now and from uh, the sub. Amen. We, we, we thank God for you, for all of your calls. And uh, dad and my mom, they're known throughout the city of Canton. And I thank God for all of you all for treating my parents like royalty. Uh, amen. Dr. Kelly, daddy would pull up at quality cleaners and he wouldn't even get out of his truck. They brought him his clothes. <laughs> Amen. Uh, can discount and uh, when I would go to Bank Plus or uh, uh, Regions, they, they didn't, they, before they said hello to me, they would ask me about my mom and my dad. So we just thank God for, for, for all of them and at Marlowe's, daddy could go and pull up and they bring the food out. Amen. I didn't know they had a drive-thru, but apparently they do. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for them. And, and, and to all of the churches my father has pastored, Old True Light Rising Chapel, uh, Mount Charity, uh, Bowdoin Green, uh, uh, New Zion, uh, thank God for you. Amen. Amen. And, and, and last and certainly not least, to New Bethel. Amen. <laughs> To New Belco, uh, my dad, uh, uh, after he retired, uh, already knew, and, uh, and God bless their souls. Uh, they were so sweet. Uh, they would call me pastor, uh, but I already knew Reverend Green, who was their pastor. Amen. <laughs> many times, uh, Miss Laverne and them, they would ask me, they would say, hey, Pastor Walker. I said, hey, how's it going? They said, it's going okay. How's Pastor Walker doing? <laughs> I said, I thought you just spoke to him. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we thank and we bless God for New Bethel. You all have been uh, such a blessing to uh, uh, my, 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 my parents. And, uh, and now you're a blessing to uh, us. Hey, man, and I, uh, jokingly, but you all have made uh, have done well in the transition. Amen. Amen. People that I was in Sunday uh, in their Sunday school class, they they show that respect, and we just thank and we praise God for you. Uh, there is a word uh, from the Lord on today. Uh, just for a little while, I just want to look at a a few scriptures. Uh, uh, when 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 I was uh, uh, when I was trying to think of something and I was praying and, and, and Dr. Jackson, uh, many things came across. Uh, I said we could preach about uh, a good soldier because truly daddy was a good soldier. Uh, I thought about some, some, some other things that were fitting for him. Uh, uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. As a matter of fact, when we, 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 we got into his iPad. 
he had locked it and we didn't know what the code was. And uh, we took it to the Apple store and when we got in, I decided I would go to his Bible uh, app. And the scripture he was reading was to be absent from the body. That's the last scripture he read on his iPad, is to be present with the Lord. Uh, I, I said I could preach about that, but uh, the Lord led me somewhere else. And, and, and here's where he led me, uh, Matthew the 25th chapter. Verse 22 and verse 23. Just want to look at these two verses right quick. And it, 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 chapter 25 of Matthew, uh, 22nd verse, and it simply says, He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. So the Lord said unto him, Well done. Good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And something, uh, uh, Pastor Counter, just jumped out at me when it says, Well done, good and faithful servant. Uh, yeah, yeah, something that's jumped out at me, Reverend Milton, when I saw, well done, thou good and faithful servant. I said, that sounds a whole lot like my daddy. You know, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And you Bible scholars, you, you Sunday school attenders, you uh, 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 Bible class attenders, you know that this parable uh, really started back in chapter 24. Yes. Well, the, the causing of this parable started in chapter 24. Yes. You remember Jesus was sitting uh, up on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came to Jesus wanting to know, yes. when will the end of times be? Yes. When will you return? And Jesus, you know what he told him. He told him, look, there'll be uh, earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, nation rising against nation. He said pestilence and uh, there were some will come and say that they are the Christ deceiving many. And then, and then he, he eventually Jesus flipped the script. And Jesus told him, look, here's what you need to really be concerned about. He said you need to be watchful and then you need to be faithful. And then he enters us over into chapter 25. And in the first part of chapter 25, he talks about being watchful. Because he was talking about the, the ten virgins. And, and you know, it was five wise and five foolish. But eventually he came to uh, talk about the talents. You know the story, don't you, about how he talked about uh, there was a man that had a whole lot of stuff. And he called three of his servants to him. And he, he said to one, he gave one five. Then he gave to the other one two. And then the third one he gave one. And another gospel it says about uh, he gave to them according to their several ability. In other words, he gave them what they could handle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and you know the story about the one that had the five, he, he gained five more. The one that had the two, he, he gained two more. The one that had the one, he dug a hole and put it in the earth and he called him a wicked and a lazy servant. So one is saying, well, well if you're going to preach the thing, why won't you preach the whole text? Well, well I, I, I don't have time just to deal with all of it this morning. But I want to key in on the one that had the two talents. Yeah, yeah, because, because while this text reminds me of my daddy, the one that had the two, sure enough reminds me of my daddy. Because the one that had the two didn't have as many as the one that had the five. But he had a little bit more than the one that had the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that reminded me of my daddy. I said, this guy, he, I, I think daddy can relate to him. Well, the three things I noticed, three things I noticed, I don't want to hold you long. Uh, uh, but, but, but one of the things that I, I, I see about this servant, uh, uh, Dr. Johnson, the first thing I see about this servant is I see what he received. 
uh, not, not only do I see what he received in that first point, I see uh, 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 how much he received. What he received, it was a talent. Uh, here, this talent is representative of a year's uh, or annual salary. And, and so, he, what he knew what he received, it was valuable. But it, I, I see how much he received. And he received two. He didn't receive the five, he didn't receive the one, but he received the two. Now, now he could have been uh, torn with this two. It, it, it could have pushed him to a, a point where he had a problem or he was taking pleasure. He could have had a problem when he looked at the one with the five. And he could have been jealous, he could have been envious of the one that had five. Or he could have took pleasure and uh, been cocky or conceited or arrogant that I got more than the one with the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but the, uh, the servant, he understood that uh, what had been given to him, it was not for his pleasure or for a problem, but it was for production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he realized that it was for production. And, and, and that's how he reminds me of my daddy. My daddy, he, he would all time tell me, he would tell me that I may not have the education like a lot of preachers do. He, he said, uh, look, I didn't go to a whole lot of those schools that they may have gone to. He said, but son, when it comes to living it, they're going to have some trouble. Because he knew what God had given him. He knew that God didn't give him a PhD, but he was thankful for what God had given him. The reason he was thankful because he knew who it had come from. And because it came from God, he knew that it had worth. It had value. He, he, he didn't try to look down his nose on anyone else. Most of your preachers know that if you ever talk down about yourself around daddy, say, well, I'm not a big shot preacher. Daddy will stop you in your tracks and tell you, hold on. God didn't call a bunch of nobodies. If God called you, then you somebody. So it does not matter if you have a mega church or a storefront church. His thing was they're all God's people. And you ought to treat them like they're God's people. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I just see what he received. I see how much he received. He didn't receive as much as others. But daddy was thankful for what God had given him. Not only do I see what he received, but I see this servant as a resourceful servant. That simply means that he had the ability to meet his situation effectively. Yeah, daddy, daddy. In other words, he not only used what he had, but he made the best use of what he had. There's a difference there. Daddy, he made the best of what he had. Daddy, uh, uh, I, I've heard him, uh, Dr. Smith, Daddy preached from Genesis to Revelation. <clears throat> I've heard him preach from the Pentateuch. I've heard him preach the historical books. I've heard him preach from the poetic books. I've heard him preach from the major and the minor prophets. Heard Daddy preach uh, uh, the gospel. I heard him preach the epistles from kibble to kibble. I've heard him preach. But if you were to gather all of them together, the bulk of daddy's sermons came from the New Testament. If you look at that a little closer, you'll find out that uh, the bulk of those sermons came from the gospel. You look a little closer, you'll find out that they came from the synoptic gospel. You look a little bit closer, you'll find out uh, that the bulk of those came from the book of Luke. And I began to wonder why, why did daddy preach so much from the book of Luke? And then it dawned on me when I looked at the characters that Luke highlighted the most. It was those that were downtrodden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke talked about the, uh, the women, the, the widows. He talked about the, the children, the poor, uh, those that were down and out. So maybe daddy preached about them because he could relate to them. Those of low degree. So daddy used what he had. Yeah, yeah, whatever he had, daddy, he used that. Yeah, he, he was resourceful, and, and there were times he would stand up. And when he would preach about uh, uh, the woman that had bent over for 18 years, daddy would tell us that Jesus, 
Can't straighten it out. And then there were time daddy would tell us when he preached about the barren fig tree. But it had leaves, but it didn't have any figs. Daddy said, you're looking good, but you're no good. Yeah. Dr. Young, there were times he would preach about Anani and Sapphira. And daddy would uh, tell us that you're lying and you're dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a simple man, but dad had a way. Yeah, he had a way. Preaching sermon, letting us know what he talked about when, when they sought to take out Lazarus. Because he was evidence of the power of Jesus. Dad said, you're on the devil's hit list. Letting you know that, uh, uh, look, look, uh, when you're tied up to the Lord, the devil's going to get on your the track. And in and, and the last couple of months, uh, riding in the car with my mom and dad, daddy would tell us that I think I'm the modern day Job. Because of all that he was dealing with, he would say, I'm the modern day Job. And I would often down tell him, uh, Milton, that daddy is going to be all right. And daddy would assure me, he said, son, I know it's going to be all right. Either it's going to be all right here, or, or it's going to be all right on the other side. Daddy knew something about Job. He knew something about Job when Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Daddy was simply saying, look, uh, look, I, I, look I, I might be going through. Pastor McCallum went in his room one day and told him, said, Walker, whatever you do, don't lose your faith. Daddy was no longer talking, but he looked at McCallum with his eyes. McCallum told me, he said, I know what he was saying. Man, do you know who you're talking to? Look, daddy used what he, he had. Yeah, I, I see what the servant received, Dr. Young. I, I see that the servant was resourceful. Thirdly and finally, I see that the servant was rewarded. Yes, yes, he was rewarded for his faithfulness. Yeah, yeah, and you knew, know what the word faithful means. It simply means to be reliable, to be dependable. Uh, one that you can count on, one that you can trust. God rewarded Daddy because he knew he could trust him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dr. Sutton, I remember once Daddy had his foot operated on. And he was in a revival. And somebody asked him, uh, Walker, are you going to preach tonight? Because you just had surgery on your foot. Daddy's response was, I don't preach with my foot. I preach with my mouth. Yeah. That's faithfulness. And I, I got to get out of here, but uh, because he was faithful, yeah, uh, he was promoted. Yeah, this servant was promoted because uh, at the beginning it called him a servant, but at the end it called him a ruler. At the beginning it said he had few, but at the end it said he had many. Well, on New Year's Eve, Dad, it was promoted. Yeah, yeah, uh, I've heard you already say, uh, Moderator Davis, that I've been faithful over a few things. You said, now come on, and I'll make you ruler over many. I'm gone now, and I'm almost in my seat. But I got to tell you that if you really want to know what faithful look like, I know you thought I was going to say J.P. Walker, but you need to look at the one. That J.P. Walker was looking at. You know who he is, don't you? The one that got on the nature train. The one that rode it through 42 generations. The one that got off in Bethlehem of Judea. The one that stayed around for 33 years. Uh, for one Friday. Uh, that's what people look like uh, on a hill called Calvary. Uh, you know what he did. Uh, they hung him high. They stretched him wide. Uh, he hung his head uh, and the locks of his shoulder. Uh, here we go now. You know what he did. Uh, he died. Uh, he died. Uh, he died. He died. Uh, but that's not how the story ends. Uh, they laid him um, uh, in a bar of tuna. But how many know? But earlier, earlier, early Sunday morning, uh, he got up from the grave. Uh, he's all right. I know he's all right. I 
afraid. Dad will tell me, make sure you tell them that they can't do it part time, but be thou faithful unto them, and I will give you a crown of life. He's all right. I know he's all right. Dad will tell me, make sure you tell them that the crown is not just for me, but if you hold on, if you be faithful, one of these old days, he's going to swing down this sweet chariot. Don't know about you, but I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. To see my daddy, I'm going home. To see Big Mama and Big Daddy, but oh, I want to see him. Look up on his face, there to see forever of the saving grace on the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice, tears of past, home at last, and never to rejoice. He's all right. He's all right. He's all. Right. He's all I know he's all right.